Welcome to an NCFE Functional Skills Examiner video. We're going to be looking at 10 key errors that occur regularly in maths functional skills assessment. 1. Area and perimeter. It's common in functional skills assessment for learners to calculate area instead of perimeter or perimeter instead of area. Getting mixed up between the two can be costly. Online learners also confuse units, writing metres for area when really it should be metres squared. This could be because it's difficult to write a power on a computer. It should be noted that we accept MSQ, meter square, or M2 for online assessments. Two, measures. Converting between metric units is poorly done in assessments. Learners found area or perimeter using a mixture of meters and centimeters rather than using one consistent unit throughout. If asked to have the answer wrote in terms of a certain unit, learners often just left their answer in its original form instead of converting. Three, probability. Learners weren't familiar with terms such as likelihood, chance of. Both these terms are essentially asking learners to find the probability of something occurring. When learners are asked to display their answer as a fraction in its lowest terms or simplest form, it was clear learners don't know how to simplify fractions. Remember, a calculator is allowed for functional skills assessments. Four, currency and units. Errors often occur at the start of a calculation. Similar to area and perimeter, learners often confuse pounds with pence. Before you start the question, you should always write them as a common unit. Errors after this were how learners displayed their final answer. Learners either left out the units or mixed the units up. Five, mean, mode and range. Students think that range is a measure of average. They don't say that it's not actually an average and that it's actually a measure of spread instead. This could be because it's often seen in the same lessons or context as mean and mode. Other problems included students mixing up mode and mean. Although both of these are measures of averages, the question will ask for a specific one in brackets. Six, ratio. Learners are unable to complete ratio problems. They leave these blank. They are unable to identify what type of ratio problem is being assessed. Remember, there are three types of questions. Simplifying ratios, dividing an amount in a given ratio, or adjusting a ratio, also known as proportion. Seven, how to check a calculation. Learners either completed this type of question correctly or simply didn't answer the question at all. Students should always look to answer all questions within the paper. Eight, rounding. When learners were asked to round money, decimals or other calculations, they were unable to round correctly. Many learners also missed out their initial unrounded answers, which meant more marks were dropped as examiners didn't see these. Nine, fractions, decimals and percentages. Learners are unable to convert between FD and P. For probability questions, it's quite common for learners to be asked to display their answer as a percentage or a decimal. Learners should be encouraged to use their calculator to do this. 10, open questions. Learners answering questions that need a response often struggle with this. The question may ask, have they got enough money to buy this? Or have they got enough paint to cover this wall? Learners do the maths correctly, but this isn't enough. A comment is needed at the end of the question also.